A couple more things for preparation. Um, got myself a roller here. I use these foam rollers to roll out the epoxy. Um, and also, uh, I did have one uh, non-bonded area. I've cracked it open here on the panel where I'm going to pour some epoxy in using a needle. So that'll be the first thing we do. That way, when the stuff's thinnest, it'll flow the deepest into there. Uh, the reason this didn't bond down is there was a high part because of the crack on the top. So they kind of point up there. Um, and you can see that crack the perfect square. That's where that wooden block was. So all that pressure from sitting here was cracking it all the way over here when it wasn't bonded on the deck. Okay, it's a pretty sunny day out. Got my dust mask on. It sounds a little fuzzy. I've ground out the gel coat all the way around this so I can tape it. So you can see I've carved down deep into the valley so I can get a good purchase of the new fiberglass tape. Typically you like to go wider, but the hell I'm not going to go heavy. And you can see it's on both sides. Uh, slow epoxy for today because this stuff is going to be hot and it's going to be cooking up quick. Okay, this is, uh, I don't know, the fourth day of working on this. Uh, I mean, several days in between, but you can see I've bonded the panels into place. I've also done some filler. A uh, nice even job. Everything came out really well. Close to expected. Uh, panels are wicked stiff now, so I don't have to worry about my sagging seats. So the badass repair is continuing. Uh, as you can see in here, this is the... Uh, I've ripped out the floor, which had turned to sponge. And I am over here. Uh, under there is the floor. You can see some uh, shims here. Uh, cedar shake that I've used uh, in reversing order. So I can get some camber in that shape. It's hard to see the molded part. You can see when I take it out. And here's my clamp. Uh, nice heavy can of natural gas. Um, and uh, that's where I stand today. Okay, uh, I just got done molding the uh, floor panel here. So this was cut out of the deck. This is the original skin. And you can see I have left a flange in the molding and also a slight crown from one end to the other, just like the floor of the deck. And it's got two layers of fiberglass on the back. Um, and what I'll be doing is dropping it in there. So you can see there's also a chamfered angle at the floor and the flange. Let's get that backwards. allows it to overlap up on top. So when I put this together, I'll sand that flange on both sides, bond it to the original deck here, and uh, that should give me a nice area to grind down and then build up my uh, glass work for uh, putting the, uh, taping it to the floor. Underneath, I'll be bonding it to the old floor, which really could be cut out completely. You can see I cut through in some spots accidentally, but uh, it will no longer exist truly, so no water should egress into that. And you can tell a very thin skin, almost a drum. Very flexible. Okay, to uh, clamp the floor down there, what I've done is I've replaced the uh, tow rails with this pine plank on both sides, and what I'll be doing is putting this clamp down here and then I'll drive these screws into the sidewall to keep it held down to the deck. Do that to both sides, throw some weight in the middle. After I'm done epoxying we should have a nice good seal. Okay so you can see I've clamped in this, bridged it, screwed it down. Okay, you can see I've uh, ground out the interior along the edge, and here's some of the pre-cut fiberglass I'll be laying in there. Um, basically, I'm not as concerned about how the sole looks when my foot sits there. I'll take a little more care up on the deck when I get to it. However, I'll be doing two layers of, uh, of uh, fiberglass tape, and that'll be applied shortly. 
Okay, this shows uh, just taping off where I'll be doing my bonding work. There's a little spots to be filled for the most part. Tape it with glass, roll it in, I'll be in good shape. Okay, so here we are at the uh, near final stage. Uh, typically, someone might prime this, but I'm not adding any more paint to this than I need to. So uh, I'm all prepped to roll it up, and what I'll be doing is uh, got uh, Interlux Interthane Plus, which is a two-part. Uh, that's the reactor for it. White paint. You mix up, thicken it up with Collida Silica. Add a little non-skid, which will also dull it, and then um, you use a roller. I don't know where the roller is right now, but uh, basically with a thick coat, stick is uh, spackling paste, roll it on the surface, it'll pull it up and leave a nice texture. Okay, uh, I'm mixing up my deck uh, paints. You can see I've added some Kaleida Silica 406. It's a very thicky urethane mix. You can see that's got also got it's got dulling agent, I mean tread agent in it along with the classica. I'm gonna scoop this onto the deck and down below. And of course organic vapors. So hey, wear a mask and uh, lots of gloves. As a matter of fact, doubled up.